Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you two possible ways to fix this Windows startup error. It says Windows failed to start, a recent hardware or software changes might be the cause. And then it gives you this three step suggestion that you could follow to repair your computer. Now, just as the error message suggests, this could be caused by either a hardware or software change on your computer. On the hardware side, it could be that the disk with your Windows files or your operating system for some reason is inaccessible to the boot manager. So maybe the disk got loose from the disk connector or in the worst case scenario, the disk is failing. Then you could get this error message. On the software side, it could be that certain applications or malware has managed to change the path to your Windows boot media. And as such, the boot manager is unable to locate the boot files during startup. Hence, it gives off this same error message. The first solution in this tutorial is for situations where this error is due to hardware changes, while the second solution would address the possibility of a software change leading to this error message. If you are unsure what could be causing this error in your case, then I recommend that you start off with the first solution and if the error continues, then you can proceed with the second one. And now without further ado, let's get right to it. The first solution is on the hardware side, so the first thing you want to do is to check that your C drive or the disk drive where you have your main operating system is properly attached to the connector on your computer. For that, you need to physically open the hard drive bay. Then check that the drive is properly attached. You can detach and reattach it firmly to ensure it's in proper contact. Then go into your BIOS and check that the disk is added to your boot devices and that it's properly positioned in the boot priority. To do that, you might need to do a bit of research to identify which key or combination of keys will be required to boot into your BIOS. With that known, press your power button and as soon as the logo screen appears, quickly press the required key to get into your BIOS. Now depending on how your BIOS setting is designed, locate the boot tab. and then using the required function keys or plus or minus keys, move the disk containing your operating system to the first priority in the boot order. Now, if your PC has this hard drive BIOS boot specification option, that's this hard drive BBS priority here, then you want to go into it and ensure that your C drive is properly positioned in the priority order as well. This BBS controller basically presents the attached bootable devices up to the system BIOS for boot device selection. So you should check that your main disk shows up here and that it's positioned in the top priority order. And by the way, if for some reason you don't see your hard disk in the BIOS, then chances are you might have a failing disk, in which case you will need to test your disk using either a SATA adapter or some other computer to ensure that it's in good working condition. For some laptops, you might not have this BBS option, so all you need to do is to ensure that all attached disks in your computer are enabled, and then the disk containing your operating system is set to the first priority in the boot order. Now remember to save any changes you make in your BIOS using the F10 key. Here select yes to save changes and then restart and see if the error goes away.
The second solution is for situations where certain applications or malware changes the path variables of your boot manager, hence making it unable to locate the Windows boot files during startup. For this solution, we'll be using the boot rec tool to try to locate any Windows installations on all disks attached to the computer and then add them back to the boot list so that the boot manager can locate them during startup. Now to do this, you will need a bootable USB with Windows 10 installation files. If you haven't made one already, you can follow the procedures I showed in this video to do that. I will leave the link in the video description. Now attach your Windows 10 USB stick and press the power button on your computer to start the process. And then using the corresponding function keys or combination of escape and function key, select your boot device to boot from the USB. On this initial setup page, select Windows 10 64-bit or 32-bit depending on your platform and then wait for the installation files to load. Here on this page, select Next. Then click on repair your computer. Here select troubleshoot. And then here click on the command prompt option. Here type the command boot rec space forward slash fix MBR as shown on the screen and hit enter. Now it should say the operation completed successfully. Now type the command boot rec space forward slash fix boot and hit enter. It should again say the operation completed successfully. Then type boot rec space forward slash scanos as shown on the screen and hit enter. Obviously this command scans all your disks to see if there are Windows installations on any of them. Now this could take some time depending on your system specifications and the size and number of disks to scan, so you might have to wait a bit. After scanning, it will inform you whether or not any Windows installations were found on the disks. In my case, the process was able to find one Windows installation, so I will go ahead and add it back to the boot list so that the boot manager can locate it during startup. To do that, type the command boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd as shown on the screen and hit enter. Then wait for the process to run. After that, it should tell you again that it has identified your Windows installation. It then asks whether you want to add it to your boot list. Now, if you have multiple Windows installations, it would give you all the available installations and the corresponding drives where they are stored. So at this point, if you want to add all the installations to the boot list, then type A and hit enter to complete the process. Of course, A would also work if you have only a single Windows installation like in my case. Now, after that, type exit to close the terminal and then restart your computer to see if it works. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.